Hello Aries and a very warm welcome to your birthday horoscope for April of 2019. So in many ways this month is a breath of fresh air after the intensity of all the things that happened in March. And the month starts out on the 5th with a lovely new moon in your sign in this first house. So the sun is in your sign for much of this month. So it's a new beginning, a new chapter. What could you do to renew the way you appear? Maybe you'll make some changes to the way you dress, your hair, the way you would like others to see you. You might present your work differently, your business differently, but it's an opportunity for planting some new seeds for this year. And then on the 18th, we've got Mercury coming into your first house. So for the first couple of weeks with a lot of activity in this 12th house, it's going to be quite important for you to find a balance between your external life and your internal life. So it's important to find peacefulness in your day, moments of quietness where you can rebalance yourself and then the new projects, the new ideas, the new things that you want to do, you can push ahead with them. But you can't push ahead all the time. Yes, I know Mars is your ruler, Aries, and you're impatient and you want things yesterday. But with this fine balance between the first house, everything moving into that first house, which is a forward momentum, and then planets sitting in the 12th house is just this energy of you checking in your frequency, your vibration. What is my attitude? How are people responding to me? Are they responding favorably? Ah, if they're not, maybe I need to change something in me. So it's that balance. And then on the 19th of the month, we've got a full moon happening here in your seventh house of relationships. So it's the new beginning for self. It's the new you, refreshed, renewed, revitalized. And then shining a light on relationships. Well, what needs to change in relationships? Often a full moon may bring a situation to a head or something that you haven't wanted to see for a while, time to see it. So there could be changes in a significant relationship or changes in what you're looking for in a relationship. And then on the 21st, woohoo, wonderful, Venus coming into your sign. This is one of the nicest placements for love, for romance, for being popular, for people liking you, magnetizing people to you, uh, being able to talk in ways that are comforting to others and soothing and they'll respond favorably to you. This is a lovely combination to have in your first house. And also on the 21st, um, we've got the sun moving into Taurus, into your second house, joining Uranus. This will be very good for any kind of self-employed ventures, new business venture. Very good for uh, bringing to life a talent that you have, something you enjoy and just beginning to do it and experiment with it and see whether it might be able to earn you some money as well as a bonus. So Mars, your ruler in the third house all month, you're probably going to be pretty busy running here, going there, thinking about this. So once again, I remind you of the 12th house to make sure you get moments of silence or become aware of the silence between the busyness of your everyday life. So I wish you a wonderful birthday. You might want to have a personal reading as to what this year holds for you, dear Aries. And I thank you very, very much for watching. Bye for now.